Good morning, truckers and truckettes. Um, let's get into this. Uh, Jake brake. Uh, when you should not use your Jake brake. Now, a lot of drivers already know not to use it in the rain because you could trail a swing, okay? Let me put this out there. There's a difference between a trailer swing and a jackknife. A trailer swing is not a jackknife and a jackknife is not a trailer swing, but a trailer swing can lead into a jackknife, okay? Trailer swing is when a trailer comes from behind your tractor and swings towards the front. That's a trailer swing. A uh, jackknife is when the load takes over your tractor due to a dry fifth wheel or other elements such as slippery surfaces plus a dry fifth wheel. When the load takes over, you, now or you can't trailer swing from a dry fifth wheel, but you can jackknife from a dry fifth wheel. I've already explained that in one of my other videos. Uh, the link should be below. Now, using your Jake brake, the reason why you shouldn't use the Jake brake, of course, like I said, trailer swing, but this is how the trailer swing would happen. Let's say you use your Jake brake. You use your Jake brake, your tractor and your trailer is slowing down. All of the wheels are slowing down. Here's the problem with that. Whether dry or wet surfaces, it's far more dangerous on wet surfaces, slippery surfaces, what have you. When your tractor is slowing down due to the Jake brake, there's a G-force that spins around your tires, okay? At the same exact speed that your throttle, that you're throttled at. Now, when you use your Jake brake, there are three axles where the G-force continues to rotate. Your drive axles, the G-force is slowing down because the engine is slowing down the axles of your drives. But there is the only thing that's slowing down your steers and your tandems is the slowing down of the drives. The problem with the tandems and your steers, but the more danger, the danger is more mostly with your uh, your trailer. The G-force is continuing to spin. Let's say you're traveling at 65 miles an hour, you put your Jake brake on, you're slowing down to 55 miles an hour. You're, you're, all your wheels are slowing down to 55 miles an hour, but your trailer tandem wheels, the G-force is still spinning at 65 miles an hour while the wheel is slowing down. All, the only disaster, that the only thing that, that, that is needed to cause a disastrous trailer swing is a gust of wind to knock the trailer off its tractor's path or the path of the tractor with direction that you're going. I don't know if you guys ever took a science class where your science teacher would have you hold a bike in a swivel chair and you're spinning the wheel and then you tilt it to the side and then you swivel towards the direction that you're tilting your wheels. So that's pretty much what causes a trailer swing when using your Jake brakes in the rain. Do not use your Jake brakes in the rain. And that's the primary reason why. Okay, because it can cause a trailer swing due to the G-force not slowing down now. If you have a habit of using your Jake brake in the rain, which is stupid as fuck, but you're not thinking about this, because a lot of drivers tend to develop tunnel vision and just keep going and not thinking about their gauges, not thinking about anything else except for what's in front of them. Not even thinking about looking in their mirrors. If you're going to use your Jake brake, regardless of the warning that you're given by some companies, other drivers, including myself, at least step on your brakes at the same time while you're using a Jake brake. This way, you can slow down the G-force of the trailer tandems, okay? The G-force that's still spinning at the rated speed that you that you were throttled at, and you can slow down your steers and have better control and not risk the chance of a trailer swing. Thank you guys for watching the video straight through and through. Deuces.